My name is Lindsay Douglas, and I'm a speech-language pathologist. I specialize in working with patients with dysphagia or swallowing disorders. Today, what we're going to look at is the Guardian Unity Swallow Stem device. This two-channel neuromuscular electrical stem, or NMES device, can be used to treat patients with dysphagia. It's going to arrive with a black carrying case, hard plastic. This is what you'll store the device in. And you'll have a separate bag with some accessories that we'll cover in a moment. The first thing you'll do once you take it out of the package is to open up that battery compartment and insert the four AA batteries. Just follow the diagram and keep that plastic in place so it'll be easy to change the batteries in the future. This device comes with two sets of lead wires because it has two channels of NMES available. You can use one or both at the same time. You'll connect right into the top and it snaps into place. Each set of lead wires will connect to two electrodes. Those electrodes are going to come shipped in your bag and the electrodes are packaged in the triple laminated foil bags to really keep that moisture in. So always make sure you get those zipped and sealed back. Inside the bag, you'll also have skin prep pads. These are gonna be utilized before you place the electrodes on the patient. The electrodes are shipped with this little plastic X on the back. That's just to keep them in place and you'll unplug the set that you wanna use first. And there's no reason to keep it once you've unplugged them. When you're ready to get started, they plug into the lead wires. It's really important that you don't touch the gel on the back of the electrode because that can cause an area where it's not gonna get that signal to the patient. The lead wires can be placed just by peeling them from the plastic. You're gonna to wanna to hold on to this just like a lollipop and that firm wire is going to stay intact while you place it on the patient. Depending on where you're placing those electrodes, you might also find it helpful to use the paper tape that's included. You can space your electrodes on the plastic based on the patient that you're working with. They may be closer or farther apart. And you can just use a couple of pieces of tape. This is gonna keep those electrodes spaced for you and it's gonna make it a little bit easier to hold on to them as you place them. Now, when I remove, I can hold on to the tape and the lead wires and pull them off all as one piece together. Now, when I place these on the patient, I can hold this tape and get those electrodes in place. To power your device on, hold that power button briefly until the screen comes up. You'll notice it's going to prompt you here. It says to select the program with that blinking star. So follow that prompt and hit the star. And now you'll see the different programs flashing. So you would push until you got to the program that you wanted for that particular patient. Program one is used most frequently for our patients when we're doing that supra highway placement under the chin. So now that it's flashing and I have that program, I can go ahead and start to increase my amplitude. And you'll see as I go up, it will increase. Once you've paused, you'll have to wait to increase again until the signal's back on, which you can tell by the bars across the screen. This ensures that the patient won't have an abrupt change in the amplitude or the sensation that force during the treatment. If you're using both channels, you'd follow and do the same with the remaining channel during the stim. Once the device has went through its cycle and the time is up, it will say done on the screen and you can power down. When I'm done using those, I can place them back on the plastic, always on the side with the writing as it's laminated to make it easier to peel them back off, and I can unplug from here. The Guardian Unity device is a great tool when you're looking for a two-channel NMES device and remember, it has those seven built-in programs. If you're looking to add Surface EMG as a modality, take a look at the Aspire 2 Swallow Stem with four NMES built-in programs, 
a custom option, and Surface EMG. To learn more about both these devices and full instructions on how to use them, click the link below for our course. It's offered for ASHA CEUs, and it's a live interactive virtual course open to clinicians as well as caregivers.